welcome to entertainment highlights on breakfast daily my name is ni komete kome now we kick off this edition with updates from miami where black sharif VGMA's reigning artist of the year lit up Miami's Afro Nation stage with a scorching collaboration alongside Nigerian sensation Burner Boy. Their explosive performance of the second sermon remix left the crowd spellbound. Captivated by Black Sherry's unique sound and commanding presence, fans belted out every lyric. A testament to the overwhelming reception he received, this dynamic partnership was sparked when Burner Boy couldn't resist featuring on Black Sherry's second sermon. From local to international stages, their musical journey climaxed at Afro Nation on May 27, 2023, creating an unforgettable experience. A Los Angeles judge plans to dismiss a child abuse lawsuit brought by stars of the 1968 film Romeo and Juliet. Olivia Hasse and Leonard Whiten claimed they were coerced into filming nude scenes while underage. The judge ruled that the scenes weren't sexually suggestive enough to override the First Amendment protection. The actors may appeal and pursue a separate lawsuit in federal court. The case had also accused Paramount Pictures of sexual harassment. The film's controversial bedroom scene has sparked ongoing debate. The issue of protecting minors in the industry remains important. Now I saved the best for last where we shine light on the use of juju in the Ghanaian music industry. The use of spiritual practices, commonly referred to as juju by celebrities, particularly musicians and actors, has become a contentious issue in the entertainment industry. Juju is believed to originate from the French word juju or the Hausa language meaning fetish or evil spirit. It is prevalent in West African countries like Nigeria, Benin, Togo and Ghana with similar beliefs shared across Africa, while some have openly admitted to it. Notably, Ghanaian dancehall artist Shatawali confessed to using juju in the 2018 interview. Another Ghanaian musician, Ishan, claimed that a malam once requested her pubic hair for rituals to enhance her music career. Ghanaian rapper Tiny also alleged that his competitors had taken his CD to Benin for mystical purposes. Even some gospel artists in Ghana have faced accusations of employing juju. However, legendary high-life musician Bessa Simons holds a different perspective, believing that the only juju in music is extensive rehearsal. During an interview on City TV's Footprint show, Simons recalled the experience in the industry, mentioning how CK Man, whom he worked with, emphasized the importance of rehearsal as the ultimate juju. Mr. Simons, a former member of the renowned Osibisa band and known for his head song Belimbe, suggests that through relentless rehearsal and striving for perfection, artists can create the impression of employing juju. Now you can catch this interview on our YouTube channel, CityTube, by searching for Footprint. That is how we conclude entertainment highlights on Breakfast Daily. My name is Ni Komite Kome.